don't tell anybody. But y'all are kind of making me miss fifth grade like this much. Hey guys, I'm actually talking to you from the future because I didn't want the first view of me to be me looking a hot mess because I was looking a hot mess this morning. I still had my twists in, so now I have my twists out. And I just wanted to say hello to y'all. So go back, rewind to the beginning. Good morning. I feel like I have not been in this position in a very long time, which I haven't. Like it's been probably since the first month of school since I last vlogged myself on the way to work and now it is the last the very last month of school it is April 30th and our last day is June 1st so my plan is to vlog for the rest of the school year I'm hoping that I can do it it's only four weeks right four weeks five weeks whatever it is it's not that much time so I feel like I can handle that this year has been so crazy like our school year started off the very first day that we were kind of like on contract at school working in our rooms a fire occurred at school and so we had to evacuate the fire department had to come out and then we had the eclipse and then we had hurricane harvey and i feel like ever since then like just small things kept occurring throughout the school year and i've never really been able to catch my breath until like now and that is why i haven't been vlogging and i can't even remember at this point if i posted the videos that i recorded i know i've sent them to the parents of the students that i teach but i don't know if i posted them on here or not it doesn't matter because what you need to know is that i made it through like the very very tough times this year and I feel like we need to catch up. I have now made it to school and I have about 15 minutes before the students are going to go in there and this lighting is a hot mess right now you can't even see my eyes but um, I just wanted to talk to you because for some reason once I get into the school it's very very hard for me to remember to pick up the camera these days. Um, I'm going to try to talk to y'all throughout the day. I do have a student teacher and so sometimes that can be kind of weird for me to be vlogging, you know, with her there and not include her. Morning. Good morning. I'm in my partner's class right now because my student teacher is in my room and she is um, practicing. She has an observation with her professor this afternoon, so she is practicing with my first class and then she'll do the real thing with her professor during the second um, class, my homeroom. So um, I'm just kind of getting some things together. Um, now I'm in like cleanup mode for the summer and so I'm trying to organize and make sure I'm, I have things in place for next year. I also need to look at some student scantrons from a test we took last week and just clean up some things. Like, if y'all didn't see, my room looked a mess this morning. I just I just wanna show y'all the chaos of what is my desk. Oh, and we're doing this really fun um, science experiment. So I had some students bring in some things today. I requested donations, so they brought them today. And so I have to just, this, I have to figure out what we have and what we can use for science today. So that's what's on my desk.
it is six o'clock and I have made my room worse than it was when I came in this morning. I have started to clean out some of my containers like over here. There were more containers over there, but I cleaned three of them out. Y'all can see that right there. And then over here, that red and yellow one right there, they're both empty. Then I have put up some of my other manipulatives that I don't think we're going to use throughout the year, throughout the rest of the year. Um, and then I have these file cabinets, so I went ahead and got some hanging files for it because I'm about to start. I don't know. I really need to be organized next year, and I'm pretty organized, but like I just labeled these folders. Um, with the months, you know, August and September are together because we're only here a few days. And then I have each month. And then here's the second semester down here. And I know that I'm going to fill these up with different things. I have unit topic things. This is for like this year. This is the last topic that we're going to be studying in science. And I do the same thing for math. I have have a few in here yeah so like this is for math I have them on different colors so let me show you like if the students look at their notebooks like this I'm headed home I think I already said it but it's 6.05 right now and I am going to go to Cheddar's because that's what I feel like eating tonight I leftovers yesterday and then I ate the leftovers for lunch today and I'm just tired of eating what I cook and I want someone else to cook for me. Good morning. My angle is different. So I'm in my other car today and I always struggle to figure out where to put the, where to put y'all, you know, when I'm in here because I have my whole system set up in my car, but then when I get in this one, I don't have that. And so my camera slides all over the place. After work today, I have to help out with a camp a science camp because the science start test for fifth grade is coming up I'm no longer a fifth grade teacher but I was asked to teach the camp for the for a couple of weeks it's just three days for an hour and a half after work so um, I agreed to that and then it's taco Tuesday for me I don't get tacos every Tuesday I just like to say that so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my tacos I'll be right back I just got my taco um, I get the same taco every time I go in there and like so all the workers in there know me and stuff and um, you know we say hi and good morning but this morning craziest thing I guess I look like really cute today because people kept complimenting me and like when I went to order the tacos like three people jumped over they never do that um, a woman and then two men jumped over to hurry up and make my taco and I'm like okay so I got the taco and then I like the cashier is trying to ring me up and then one of the guys who hurried up and made and was trying to make the taco for me came over there and he, he started trying to tell her the code but then he like told her the wrong code like all I had to do was tell her what taco I got and she could have rung it in but he just wanted to be involved and so he told her the code he told her the wrong code she ended up bringing two tacos up and then she's like I thought you said you got one taco ma'am and I said I did and he was like no the other number is this and he was like I'm just so sorry I can't stop staring at her she just She's just so small. I just, I'm just so flustered this morning, and I was like, okay, well that was that was odd. The woman was like, I know she's got the '70s working today, and so I was like, oh yeah, I do look a little, a little Sasha Fierce. Y'all know the movie with the Pink Panther. Is that what it's called, the Pink Panther? Cleopatra. That's Foxy Cleopatra. I feel like I am giving that that Beyonce this morning. My sleeves are like, they are like real 70s, but like that's my vibe. I have on like some dress pants, but if you look kind of closely, they could look a little bell bottom-ish. So I feel, I feel like I see where they thought I was going with the 70s this morning. That means is that I get, wow. See, see what I'm saying? Y'all just slide all over the place in this car I think it's going to be a good day we have been working on multiplication and today I'm going to attempt to all right I just had to give that whole camera plopping situation up and just wait till I got to work which is probably a better idea anyway because I'm not trying to break my camera any more than I already have broken it because yes it's it's a little broken 
and I feel bad it's cracked like where the flash is and it's just a struggle to get the flash up but you know I just keep going off and off about stuff that doesn't matter but anyway um the light is good this morning the sun is like over there right now and it's not all the way up so it's not making me look orange I just look like hey usually the end of the year is really really fun for the students and we do a lot of projects and just a lot of more fun things and my students were asking me like to bring back certain things that they did throughout the year that they really liked so that's a really good idea I don't think I've done that before I think that's a really good idea to just say hey is there some activity that you really liked this year that you want me to bring back out and then we'll just have some days where we do that um also my plan sometime soon before the year is over of course is to do a room transformation and use uh, Michelle Ferre's fraction idea I did purchase the aprons online and so I just need to figure out when I want to do the transformation because my students will love that so I'm gonna go ahead and get in at 702 right now and um, yeah I will see y'all throughout the day Make sure your first name and last name are on your papers. Your pants are on backwards. They're not on backwards, honey. The zipper is in the back on purpose. That's how my pants are. Are you? I put pants on the correct way. Today was another very good day, and um, I just left the science camp. It was started to rain, and it's all windy, so my hair is all over the place. I had told the students who I were with, y'all don't tell anybody, but y'all are kind of making me miss fifth grade like this much, just a little bit. Like, I love the independence of fifth graders. Second grade is kind of a lot, but I, I really have been enjoying this year in second grade, and originally at the very very beginning before I started teaching I really wanted to teach second grade there were just no positions available so um, finally I am you know where I want to be um, who knows what's going to happen in the future though but right now as a teacher I'm enjoying second grade it's seven o'clock on the dot oh good morning yesterday we finally went to Cheddar's so I had my steak medium of course and I had fried shrimp I didn't do grill this time I was a little I was a little bad and I got fried shrimp and I also had broccoli and a loaded baked potato it was very good and so I am bringing my leftovers for lunch today and then I have my favorite snack okra sticks or okra snacks for a snack or just like to snack throughout the day um, I love okra chips or okra sticks whatever the place wants to call them um, I'm headed to Jack in the Box right now Jack in the Crack I am going to get a breakfast Jack and orange juice even though it's double star day at Starbucks and I'm very tempted to go just to get my double stars I'm going to contain myself and just drink orange juice today for some reason I have been like going to sleep at night and forgetting to set my alarm which means it's probably good I'm just kind of like allowing my body to get me up there's an ambulance behind us come on mr. fire truck y'all this is so bad like I really don't want to stop because I really want to make this light but I I need to stop because they're like right here but I need them to like hurry up too thanks thanks I was wondering why the fire truck wasn't going so fast but we're in a school speed zone they were rushing but not rushing because I guess you know it's better not to hit little children on the way to another emergency I've never experienced a an emergency in us in a school zone it's kind of awkward what's going on here with this fire truck so today I am going to pull small groups and yesterday we did small groups we did three rotations um, but I decided to not introduce division today I'm going to introduce division it's gonna be kind of tricky because the students are going to instead of two groups or instead of three groups I'm just going to put them in two groups and I'll tell you all about it when I get back out so that experience was pretty quick normally jack-in-the-box not want me to be great and they make me late every time I go there but 
today was pretty quick. What I was going to say is that today the rotations are going to be, I'm just going to have two rotations. So I've worked with four rotations, three rotations, two rotations. It just kind of depends on the situation. And so for today's lesson, I really want the students to work independently. We've done a lot of like group and guided practices and um, partner things. And I really want to see what the students can do independently. So what that means is that today during our rotations, like we're going to do our morning message and all of that kind of thing. Um, our number talks, number sense kind of thing. And then I'm going to have two rotations and the rotations are going to be 30 minutes each. So I'm going to split my class in half. One half is going to be working on an independent assignment and the other half is going to be working with me um, and I'm going to introduce division. Now, I normally start with my, well, it just depends. But more recently, I've been starting with my lowest, lowest groups because I need more time with them. And so if we start to run out of time, then I know that I have like that little bit of time um, at the end to work with my higher group of students. Um, and that's it when I do three or four rotations. So it is a smaller number than just completely splitting the class in half. I am here at work. It is 720. My students will be coming in in about 25 minutes. So I don't have too much time to get stuff together, but I'm pretty prepared already for the day. And then in science, we are doing more STEM which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics all combined. And so we've been building different things. Um, I've been reading some cute books and stories, looking at PowerPoints. Like the end of the year is a really fun time. Like we start doing a lot of projects and things like that. So um, I'm really excited that, you know, we're, the year is winding down. It has really been a tough year this year. And I, I already have some things in mind of what I'm going to do to just adjust a little bit for next year. But um I also have to prepare tomorrow I am leading a faculty meeting um, and it's part of our vertical team that I'm a part of I mentioned this like last summer and I mentioned it I think if I have vlogged this year I must have mentioned something about vertical team that I'm a, a leader on um, and so I have the privilege of leading our final vertical team meeting with all of the faculty there and I'm a little nervous, but also excited. So it's a really good privilege opportunity for me to be able to do. And um, yeah, so that'll be tomorrow. morning you have one of those mornings where you really like really need to finish getting ready and you hope for stoplights but they never occur I have gone through every single life this morning and if I was late that would be wonderful but I'm trying to get something out of my purse and look for something and so it's really not the best it is 6 49 right now and I am on my way to McDonald's and then I'm going to stop make a quick stop at Walmart and actually the Walmart that I'm going to has the McDonald's in it but I refuse to go there because they are the slowest McDonald's ever I will be getting an Egg McMuffin meal with coffee shelves are pretty empty 
I used to love these when I was in high school, but I don't know if my students will love them. There's 15 of them in here. I think I need more than that. Um, I was really hoping for blow pops. I'm confused. So confused. I don't know why they don't have blow pops. There's like nothing on the shelves here. Not finding plan A. So I think I have to go to plan B. And I know these children love Takis, so I'm going to see how much Takis are. I've never purchased them because they are disgusting to me. But I'm going to see if they have them in here for a reasonable price. And if they do, then I will get some Takis. I have this big old box of 25 singles for $10, but I'm not trying to spend that money. So this is a big bag for $4.28, which is still not really what I wanted to spend today. This right here is two dollars, but I know that I'm going to have to feed more than ten of my students. Um, I like get these animal crackers. I think that animal crackers might be the way to go because I won't feel guilty giving them animal crackers. I'll go ahead and get this one so that I have extras in case some students need snack one day. So Walmart saved themselves. This was about to be a negative video but thankfully they fixed it at the last minute because oh there was only one register open i started at self-checkout and it was closed so i had to go to the one register that was open and there was one woman there who seemed like she was just taking forever to scan everybody out and of course the three people in front of me had baskets full of stuff so I'm just like this is ridiculous I'm going to be here forever and I just have four items another worker just happened to be walking by and I was like is this the only lane y'all have open and he said well they're actually opening self-checkout right now and I said oh well I'm gonna go down there because I parked down there anyway I got some Dollar Tree carries these but the regular grocery stores used to carry them all the time and I haven't been able to find them in the last couple of years where I used to get them from. So every once in a while Dollar Tree has them but I just saw a big bag like that at Walmart. I've never seen a big bag like that before so it made me think I needed them even though I don't but I still got them. So yeah, I told my students that if they return their progress reports signed um, by their parents on the first day that I told them to have them signed, then I would give them something edible. Today, as I mentioned, it's going to be a long day. I decided not to put on a full face of makeup because I never do that, but I don't have eyeshadow or um, powder or anything on my face. I just decided to put some eyeliner and mascara on my eyes, and then I put a little bit of shimmer just around my face. Just because I feel like it's a big day. I've never just, I've had different parts on faculty meetings, but today is me getting up there, saying hello to everyone, trying to start it off positively, and then really just going through all the motions of the entire meeting. And so, of course, I have some teachers who are going to be helping me, um, but really, I'm going to be leading the meeting. Oh, it's over a hundred people in our faculty. Um, so that's a large amount of people to be, you know, talking to. And then last night at Bible study, I had a demonstration to do. And so I had, I did a demonstration in front of about 150 of my brothers and sisters. So, you know, I don't think they're as judgmental as my coworkers, but I don't think my coworkers are going to be judgmental either, but um, it still makes me nervous to have to get up and speak in front of a large crowd. Even though I'm a teacher and I speak in front of people every day, they're kids. Kids are actually pretty judgmental, but whenever they try to come for me or try to judge me, I can always give them something back because I'm older and wiser. I can always come up with something really quick that kind of is like oh and then like I'll get the whole class on my side so that one rude comment doesn't really mean anything when you have like 25 other students to back you up because you know they're on your side so 
I am going to go into work. It is now 7.10 and I'm still here pretty early and I think it's going to be a good day. It's Thursday. It's going to be a thrilling Thursday. My student teacher leaves half a day on Thursday, so she's going to be with me for the beginning. So I need to go figure out what I can have her help me do before she goes. So um, I will talk to y'all later. About to leave work it is 5 43 and the meeting went so well i'm gonna show y'all a little bit of it but at the end i ended with the poem about how our school is not one that accepts pretty good students and we're not a pretty good school and so like they applauded me once it was over and i had several of my co-workers to you know let me know that i did a wonderful job and they were like you did so good and it was just a really good feeling I think it went really really well for my first time like leading a meeting and I was there to plan it and I was there you know I had some people to back me up but um, I'm appreciative that they let me take the lead in it because it was a really really good experience and they were there to support me I was there to support them and I had some things that some teachers were apprehensive about I had some quantum learning type of like music and moving around and high-fiving and all of that just to get into the spirit of the meeting because people don't want to go to faculty meetings which is sad like we need to hear them we need the information that information is helpful but people just don't want to go so I thought that maybe bringing in some of that positivity that I bring in with my students would help I think it did like they were high-fiving we shared out okay, we're going to go ahead and get started so thank you all for coming today. Um, we're going to just start with some norms. So of course this is a meeting, so we're all going to be here and be present. So we're just making sure that we're all here and focused on this so we can get here as, get out of here as soon as we can. But I love, love, love quantum learning. So we're going to start that right now. We're going to do some quantum learning type of things. So yes, it's going to require you to get up. So the first thing that we're going to do is when you hear the music, I need you to stand up. And then you're going to high five as many people as you can. And in about 10 seconds, I want you to meet with one person. So one other person. Who are you meeting with? One other person. And you're going to share something that you are thankful for. So when you hear the music, please stand up. There once was a pretty good nation, pretty proud of the greatness it had, which learned much too late, if you want to be great, pretty good is in fact pretty bad. Okay, so we do not bring in pretty good students here. We're going to bring amazing students. Just take that with you as you leave and thank you all. It went really, really well. I really don't feel like there was like anything that I would have done differently and I I'm just thankful that I got to do that. It was nice. I am headed home to be with my family and so I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. I feel like my hair looks crazy right now. I don't think it looks crazy in person but it definitely looks crazy on camera. Maybe it looks crazy in person too. I don't know but my students will definitely tell me and the teachers will definitely tell me. I have a little twist right here and some of those little 
they're not jewels, I forgot, they're like the little clamps. So I have some silver ones, and then my hair is just out. For some reason, I feel like people think that they have the, I guess, right, which they do, um, to express like or dislike for my choice of hair and my choice of outfits and just because people change their style up quite often like daily it doesn't mean that they want you to what is the word it doesn't mean that they want you to critique what's happening with them because for me when people tell me what they do or don't like about my appearance I very nicely say okay well that's wonderful because I did it for me and I like it and that's okay I didn't do it for you I didn't wear this for you I didn't do my hair like this for you but I bet people are gonna say they like it that makes me feel good but again I really eh, it's neither here nor there like I wear what I want to wear and I do my hair how I want to do my hair and all of that stuff I really don't know where that rant just came from but I think it's because I'm tired. Yesterday after I got home, MJ wanted to go to the book fair at his school and I don't recall getting papers about the book fair. MJ's been telling me about the book fair. He brought home his wish list, but I don't really recall getting a paper that talked about the times for the book fair. So I went back in my emails from last year when he was in kindergarten and his teacher did share the time from last year so I just assumed that it was probably the same time this year which I was correct and so we got there with about 10 minutes remaining in the book fair so um, MJ did get to purchase a couple of books that he promises he will read you pay like $20 for these books and then they just read them one time and I think that's just ridiculous I'm like um, honey four books on your list you can get at the library and so I told him I'm not purchasing that book because he just got a library card last week which he was so excited about so I was like you can use your library card I am going into stripes to get a taco and then I'm going to have to go to Starbucks to get a coffee because I want both so that visit took a rather long time because it was apparent that someone didn't show up for work today so um, the register there were two registers open but one cashier was going back and forth ringing people out from register to register so he was trying to get us out there fairly quickly but it, it was a struggle the line was very long several people left because the line was too long so sadly when one person does not show up for work it throws the whole situation off now I'm at Starbucks so I'm going <gasps> I forgot to order my drink. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I have to order my drink right now. Rude. Okay. It is Friday, but it feels like Monday. Oh my goodness, I'm like so tired. But my taco, my coffee. I'm just gonna make it through the day. Hopefully I will make my day not so hard for me. Oh, so I have this book here. I'm so excited because I'm going to go to my baby's school and read to him. Each Friday they have a reader to come and do a read aloud. And, excuse me, I have tried all year to figure out when I could go to his school and surprise him. It's always a surprise reader, so um, he's going to be so shocked because me being a teacher, you know, I'm never able to come to him, but I was able to work out some things today to where I can go read to him and then get back to my room before my students get there. So I'm really excited about that. That was so amazing. MJ was so excited to see me. Um, as I told y'all earlier, he, um, his teacher 
has a reader come in, a mystery reader, every Friday. And so the students never know who it's going to be. Sometimes it's like a helper at the school. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes it's a, a parent. Sometimes it just could be whoever. His face was so surprised when he saw me. Like he just happened to be kind of close to the door. And at first he came to the door but didn't see me. So he walked away. And then he came again. And he his mouth just dropped he was so surprised and so excited and he turned into baby mode he was like mommy 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 it made me feel so good because sometimes he acts like a big boy and then he's kind of like embarrassed when I give him all of the mommy love in front of people but in that moment he was just so happy to see me and I really needed that I was kind of having a rough Friday at work and so it was so nice to just have this little break and to see my son and just to be able to read so I did bring that one book and then um, I had a little bit more time to read and so the teacher found another book for me called Mother Bruce which was really cute it talked about migration and um, hibernation um, they gave me a roller coaster clap and I do roller coaster I do roller coaster claps in my class but it feels really good to get a clap. So his teacher had them to give me a roller coaster clap and um, I was like, hey, I've never had a roller coaster clap before, so thank you very much for that. But I'm headed back to work now in just the best of spirits. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I did call my mom and let her know I was coming up there. So she told me to give MJ my love, which I forgot to do. Sorry, mom. This week has been long and I'm tired and my room looks a mess. And, oh, Sorry, I told my students to put the offices or casitas, however you say it, in the desks and they already know how I want them but they did not help me out here. Thanks. Thanks for your help children. Thank you. Thank you. Like I don't regret it at all but me going to read to MJ in this class today threw me off. I actually had some paperwork that I had due today, but I forgot about it. I thought I had already done it. I didn't do it, so I just spent some time doing it. It's 5.35 right now, and my room looks a mess. So, my board, normally I try to change that. Friday is still on there today's date, so when we come back in on Monday, I have to change that. My desk, like really hot mess. Um, I put my tables up here, or my, I put my containers on top of the tables. They normally go under here, but I put them up here so that they can really get a good vacuum under the floor, which means they probably won't clean my tables. This bookshelf situation is a mess. The front, all of this stuff, like I started to organize right here, is used to be in this cabinet because I took that out so that I can start doing my inventory stuff. We did STEM projects today, so here's the leftover stuff that I was supposed to go through and see what I can salvage for next year. That did not happen. And so my room just, this is this is really how it's going to stay too because I really want to go home. Yeah, thank you all for joining me this week. And I'm going to go enjoy my weekend with my family and I will see y'all Monday morning. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do. And you will see me break down my room and all of that stuff this year. So thank y'all so much for watching and I hope I helped some of you out. Bye. Bye.